What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Ashley and I do Costco hauls on my channel and in September I will be starting to do budgeting videos as well as meal prep videos. So if that is your cup of tea, I'd love for you to join my YouTube family and hit that subscribe button so you can watch my videos in the future. So in today's video we are going to be talking about back to school snacks specifically from Costco. You know I love Costco, you've seen my hauls before and we we have come to discover our favorites in our family and I thought I would share them with you guys because I feel like my kids are pretty picky eaters so I feel like there's a good chance that if my kids like it your kids may like it too and we just have some we have some really good ones that we really like so I wanted to go ahead and share them with you guys so let's just go ahead and get started so the first thing we're going to be talking about are these made good granola minis. My kids absolutely love these and I, I do too for that matter. They are really good. Um, but what's nice about these is that they are nut free and they're made in a nut free facility and they are very, very allergy friendly. So they are free of peanuts, dairy, wheat and gluten, sesame, tree nuts, eggs, soy, and fish and shellfish. So I know that um, like nut-free classrooms are very much a thing nowadays. And so these are great to pack in your kid's lunchbox if you do have a classroom that can't have nuts in it. And you get a pack of 24 for $9.99 and they have the mixed berry flavor as well as the chocolate chip. You get 12 of each. And my kids both love them equally. So these are just a really good option. Even if, you're, even if your classroom isn't nut-free, they are just really nice to pack in your lunch it's a healthier option there there is some added sugar to it but it's just a it's a really nice little sweet treat to add to their lunch box so the second thing we're going to be talking about are these organic hummus cups and these are so awesome for school lunches and the snacks on the go they come in 20 little individual sized um containers and what's nice about these containers is that my kids are very wishy-washy when it comes to hummus one day they'll love it and the next day they'll hate it and so while it's way more price efficient to buy the the entire container of hummus we end up wasting some of it because my kids just don't don't eat it before it goes bad so I really like these little individual sizes because these stay uh, fresh for, I believe it's about two months. That's kind of what I've determined when we've purchased them, that their expiration date is about two months out. So it gives my kids a lot of time to eat them and they are perfect for school lunches. I usually put them with, I put the hummus with some pretzels, some carrots, and like maybe some fruit and that's kind of like a snacky lunch for them. They absolutely love it. And so these are a really good option for a back to school lunch. And the next one we'll talk about are these Go-Gurts. So I haven't purchased these in the past, um, only because I really like to give my kids Greek yogurt because it has more protein in it, so it fills their bellies a little more. But these were on sale, and the kids, my kids were with me when I was at Costco, so I was like, okay, you know, and they saw the package. They're like, oh, that looks fun. So I thought, okay, why not? And I actually got to looking at the uh, nutritional information, and there isn't as much sugar in here as I thought there would be there is four grams per per tube and i know that the greek yogurt that i give them it's packed with sugar i mean it, it really is it's packed with added sugar and so these are just a nice they're a nice little treat they're a nice little um fun thing to pack in their lunch box it's nice and colorful they have lots of different designs and you can put these in the freezer and then put them in their lunch box frozen so by the time it gets to lunchtime when they're at school uh, it'll be thawed and ready to eat and it's kind of nice because it stays a little frozen um so it's a little easier to eat i know my two-year-old has has a problem eating these because the, when she gets to the bottom it gets a little flimsy at the top and so it's a little harder for her to eat so she likes them when they're a little more firm and you can eat them just frozen too it's just like like a nice little frozen yogurt treat when they're uh completely frozen but these are really nice they kind of they I could talk they act as an ice pack too for your lunch so if you put some you know you put an ice pack in there this is just a little bit of extra extra coldness for your lunch and there are 32 in a pack oh, it's right over here <laughs> 32 in a pack and they're 769 and you get the mixed berry flavor as well as the strawberry flavor so the next one we're going to talk about is oh the whole box takes up the entire frame 
peek over here. But these are the Veggies Made Great Double Chocolate Muffins. And I found these at my, I'm gonna put it down so it doesn't take up the entire frame. But I found these at a different Costco than my normal Costco. And I wasn't originally gonna get them because if my kids didn't like them, there was going to be a lot left over. It comes with 20 of them. And they're little uh, individual sized muffins. And so I was like, mm, I don't think I'm gonna get it because I don't know if my kids are going to like them or not. But then I saw that they were gluten free. I was like, oh, okay, so maybe um, if, if my kids don't like them, I'll eat them. It's not a big deal. Um, I mean, anything with chocolate, hello, it's, I'm, I'll eat it for sure. So we got these and my kids loved them. They taste, the chocolate taste is overpowers any type of veggie that is in it because these have they are made with zucchinis and carrots and i have a lot of trouble getting veggies and my kids i know you probably do too and so the fact that they're hidden in there and it's just like a healthier type of muffin they don't know it's healthy but we do and that makes me feel good so you just they keep you keep them frozen and then you pop them in the microwave for i think 90 seconds 30 or 90 seconds i forget um, but they come out warm and they're fluffy and they're actually just really really good even for a gluten-free muffin They are very tasty my husband who is a little bit on the pickier side in terms of not necessarily ingredients But he I feel like he has like a chef's palate um, He even liked these so that is a big win a <laughs> big win for them and these are I believe they were 1269 for 20 of them and Yeah, they are delicious highly recommend those and actually, if you put them in the, if you um, just put them in your kid's lunchbox, just like this, frozen, they'll probably be thawed by the time they get to school and by the time it's lunchtime. So that'll be, I mean, that's just nice to throw in your kid's lunchbox and say, bye-bye, see ya. Have a healthy muffin for lunch. All right, so moving on. This isn't really a snack per se, but it's something that we use a lot and it's so versatile and we get them almost every month because we use them a lot. But these are the, let's see, Foster Farms chicken patties. And you get 20 of them in this big old long package. And I'll take one out to show you guys what it looks like. But these are so versatile. It's just a breaded chicken patty. But we use these actually to make chicken nuggets for the kids. Because I know that you can get, you can buy chicken nuggets separately. But these, you can you make chicken nuggets with them. We do a chicken parmesan with them, and so we put the, the chicken a patty in the air fryer. We top it with a little marinara sauce, top it with mozzarella, stick it back in there for a little bit longer to melt the cheese, and you have an instant chicken parmesan that is delicious. We use them for salads, for wraps. I mean, they're just so versatile, and we get so much use out of them that it makes more sense for us to buy the patties So instead of buying like separate chicken nuggets and then buying a different... Uh, fully cooked chicken to use for wraps and sandwiches and that type of thing. So these and the, and the kids love them. They're really good. So those would be perfect to fit in a thermos for your kids for school. You can keep them warm. They can have some nice chicken nuggets for lunch and they'll love them, I'm sure. What kid doesn't like chicken nuggets? Although I will say my oldest does not like grilled cheese. Who doesn't like grilled cheese? It's cheese and bread. I, I tell you, kids... Kid, although she'll probably like it tomorrow type thing you know that's the way kids are oh goodness gracious but that is a great versatile um like a ready to eat protein it doesn't take long it's already fully cooked and so while it's not the healthiest it is really great in a pinch all right so going back to the snacks the next one we are going to talk about are these bear yo-yo um fruit snacks and these are actually really good. They are similar to a fruit by the foot, um, but they're not as, they're a little, little bit more healthier tasting. I got them in hopes that they would taste more like a fruit by the foot, but of course it's a little healthier. There's no added sugar in these. And so they're obviously not gonna taste like a fruit by the foot. But what they do taste like are those fruit leathers. I used to find them in, in the produce section they were very flat and they were just it's fruit leather and so if your kids like those they will love these these are super fun they're little yo-yos and so they're all wrapped in a little um a little coil you can still unravel them and so they're it's fun in that respect for kids um but i think they're really good morgan loves them avery not so much but that doesn't surprise me morgan loves anything fruit and so these are a nice option to stick in your kids lunches if they like the fruit leather 
and it comes with 48 of them, which is, there's so many of them. You get, I believe, 16 of each flavor. So you have the mango, we have the uh, raspberry, and then we have the strawberry flavor. And they are, how much are they? They are $9.99 for 48 of them, which I feel like is a really good price for a healthier fruit snack alternative. So if you have those in your area, and if you, like I said, have a kid that likes fruit leather, these are a definite must. So the next thing we're gonna be talking about are these Chomps beef sticks. These are one of my favorite finds, my favorite Costco finds uh, ever. I literally squealed when I saw them because if you know Chomps, they are very, very pricey. They can be up to $2 per stick. And so I usually, I, I, I sometimes get them, but they are just, they're very much a luxury. <laughs> in my budget at least because they I mean two dollars for a beef stick that's a lot um but they are completely worth it the quality is unmatched to other beef sticks they are whole 30 approved which just means which just means they have really clean ingredients they're so good my kids love them the whole family loves them and when I saw them at Costco I got so excited because they are significantly cheaper when you buy them in bulk. So you get 12 of them for $15, which works out to a dollar, I believe the sign said a dollar 20 per stick, which is unbelievable. I have yet to find them for under a dollar 50 in the grocery store. And so to find them for a dollar 20, I was just ecstatic. They are great, they're protein packed, so they'll keep your kids' bellies full. You can do a like a little lunchable with these. So if you have a beef stick, some cheese, um, some little cheese squares, uh, some crackers, some fruits, I mean, you're good to go. So these are just a really nice quick lunch if you're kind of struggling and you wanna to put together a really quick lunch, these are perfect for that. So the next snack we are going to be talking about is Skinny Pop. I know that they have these in larger bags as well. So if you have a bigger family, you can definitely do that and just portion it out into uh, sandwich size, uh, like contain, um, what are they called? Sandwich size plastic baggies and do it that way. Totally works. We have a, sm a bit of a smaller family and so the individual bags work better for us so that way it doesn't go stale. But you get 28 bags for $15 and these are, they're just fun to put in the lunchbox. I feel like it kind of adds a little variety to it instead of the normal chips or pretzels or anything. Popcorn's kind of a fun, a fun way to change things up a little bit. So we love these. Both the kids love popcorn and it's just a nice little salty snack, especially late at night for me. <laughs> So this next item actually isn't food related, but I thought it would be awesome for the upcoming school year and the upcoming flu season. So these are the Clorox to go wipes. So they're basically just a travel pack of disinfectant wipes. And I thought these would be great to put in Avery's backpack and even in Avery's lunchbox, like inside it in the, in the little um, pocket so that way she can give her hands a wash before she eats her lunch. I'm sure that they wash their hands properly before they eat as well, but it's just kind of nice to have that extra layer of protection with everything going on in the world right now. But these have come in so handy. I have one in the car, I have one in the bathroom. I have one, gosh, they're just, they're everywhere. And it's just really nice to have them kind of handy and I can just grab one if I need it. And so it came in a pack of 18, I believe, and there are 20 wipes in each pack. So it's a total of 360 wipes for $15, which I thought was not a bad deal. And they, I mean, I'm, just, I'm so glad we got them because we have already, they have already proved to be worth the investment. And that is it for today's back to school Costco snacks video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe and also leave your favorite Costco snacks down in the comment box below. I'd love to try them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.